What's going on YouTube? Hey guys, it's Ben and you already know what we're all about on this channel. If you're not a subscriber yet, you should definitely hit the subscribe button. This is where we talk about entrepreneurship, business, staffing, recruiting, everything in between. And so I vlog every single day. Today I'm going to be doing something that has been requested for a while, which is live interview phone calls. So I'm going to do those literally on camera. I have two interviews scheduled today and they're both going to be done on camera so you can hear what I'm asking. Uh, you can hear the candidates responses, the questions, everything. I know I've done a couple of videos where I've talked about how to interview candidates but I've not done them on camera. So I think this will be really good content for you guys and I'm really excited to do it. So you'll probably see the first interview in the next frame. So I'll catch you guys then. All right guys, so we are about to call our first interviewee for today. Um, this is for a warehouse position that I'm currently sourcing and filling for. Um, got this guy's resume and I'm just gonna refer to him by his initials so it remains anonymous and all that. Um, so he's not all over YouTube. So I'm gonna call him up. We've agreed to this time. I'm actually a little bit late so I'm gonna dial him right now and we should be able to go over the interview and you should be able to hear all the questions that I ask. And we should be pretty straightforward, so let's do this. Hello? Hey, is this LJ? Yes, sir. Hey, LJ, this is Ben. Uh, I was giving you a call about the warehouse job. Yes, sir, how are you doing? Good, good. Is now still a good time to talk? Great, sounds good. Um, so I just kind of wanted to chat with you briefly about the the warehouse position. Um, maybe ask some questions and just uh, you know chat a little bit about your experience and whatnot. Uh, didn't want to take up too much of your time, so um, yeah, wanted to kind of just get right into it. So uh, looks like you were uh, uh, just former Air Force. Is that your most recent coming out of the Air Force? Yeah, I actually am in the Air Force right now. I'm Oh, okay. So doing reserves. Gotcha. Okay. Um, and then prior to that, you were you were at the lumber yard. Yeah, that's where I, uh, I got my experience using uh, forklifts. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I was just going to ask about that. So um, a, a big element of this position is essentially going to be forklift, um, sit down yeah. forklift. So are you are you pretty well versed on on that? Yeah, I was there for um, almost a year, and I used. Gotcha. Okay, and that was sit down. Yes. Okay. Do you have experience on cherry picker or stand up? Um, not really. I mean, like the one I use is a Lindy. Um, I, we didn't have any other stand up ones while I was there. Okay. Yeah, that's totally fine. I, I'm I'm pretty good with uh with equipment. I can learn how to use it. Okay, that's totally fine. Um, yeah, no, I mean, we can, we can train on any of it, but most of it's sit down anyway, so we'll, we'll be good. Um, okay, cool. And then, uh, I guess, let me ask you this. Have you, um, have you had any experience, I don't know if I mentioned this in a previous email, but have you had any experience, uh, driving like box trucks, um, or, you know, modified pickup trucks with, ra you know, rails on the side, that type of thing? Um, yeah, so like I worked for a construction company and I drove... It wasn't, it wasn't a box truck. I've driven a box truck before, but just like personal use, like okay. when I was moving and things like that. But um, yeah, I drove uh, like a 250, like four-wheel truck and with a trailer and stuff like that. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. So, um, you know, just to elaborate a little bit more on the role, right? So, uh, ultimately it's, it's a forklift job within the warehouse and we want to have, you know, um, this position be mainly, you know, somebody, you know, working on the forklift, moving stock around pallets mostly. And then, you know, ultimately we want to have the person transition into, uh, eventually a driver role. And the driver would be driving like box trucks up to like 24 foot, you know, your standard like U-Haul type deal. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And um, we use modified pickups, you know, the F-250s with the, the side rails and all that stuff. So, um, yeah. yeah. And then we're basically just delivering to sites around Seattle, um, you know, with pallets on the back and stuff like that. And so the, the, the guys on site, um, on job sites and stuff like that. Um, they would unload, you know what I mean? You'd just be delivering. Yeah. So pretty straightforward. Um, 
so pay range, uh, I'm sure you saw it in the job description, but pay range is 17 to 19. I just wanted to make sure that that aligned with uh, what you were looking for and that was okay with you. Yeah, of course. Okay, perfect, cool. That's all based on experience, you know, just so, you know, all the experience you have and uh, and the years you've got with forklift and all that stuff. So, I mean, we would just peg it at, at that rate. Um, and of course, the, the branch manager is the one who handles it. I just kind of, uh, you know, I, I'm the recruiter, so I don't really handle the, the set and the pay and stuff like that, right? Um, it would be him. So, sorry, what was that? Oh, yeah, no, I'm just, yeah, I'm just, I'm just. Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, aside from that, you know, the two other specific questions I wanted to ask you, um, we do do a criminal background check, like a federal criminal background check. Are you good on yeah. passing any of that? Yeah, I just got out of uh, basic training, and so I had to do all that before I got my clearance. Perfect. I figured so with the, with the USAF, so, yeah, solid. Um, that's excellent. Um, and then, we, of course, we you know have forklift and driving, so obviously we run uh, UAs for drug tests. So I'm sure you're good on that. Yeah, of course. Okay, cool. Those are the two um, that I you know of course ha have to ask, right? You know, got to ask everybody, um, especially in Seattle. <laughs> um, yeah. So awesome. Um, so we are doing interviews. Uh, we're doing them tomorrow morning, actually. Um, and I wanted to see if you're available uh, to do a tomorrow morning slot. Yeah, it would have to be, um, it would definitely have to be in the AM because I'm actually flying to uh, California in the evening. Okay. But I'd be doing an interview like latest, maybe 10 o'clock. Oh yeah, that's fine. I could put, I could put you on at uh, 9 a.m. if you wanted. Yeah, that's perfect. If that's preferable. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, um, so you, you'd be meeting with Alan um, the branch manager, um, brief, brief interview, um, you know, just be real straightforward. He's going to show you around the warehouse, um, you know, talk to you about the position, you know, talk to you about your experience and ask you the exact same questions I did pretty much about your forklift experience. And then, you know, your driving experience and stuff like that. And just kind of ask about that, show you the warehouse, make sure it's a two way street that, you know, everything, you know, that you see that you like, uh, everything that he sees, he likes, you know, that sort of thing. So he's not going to grill you or anything. He just wants to kind of meet and greet and, and go through that. So really down to earth guy. So it'd be pretty straightforward. You know what I mean? Yeah, sounds good. Cool. Awesome. So um, 9 a.m. tomorrow. So here's what I'll do. I have your email right here on your resume. Um, I will send you a direct email uh, with the time, the address, um, as well as Alan, Alan's name and everything. So, you know who you're meeting when you come on site. Um, and then aside from that, um, uh, that should be about it. I'll shoot that over to you here in about 15 minutes. Um, so you have that info. And then if you have any questions, you can ping me back, but you know, I just last, last things last. I see your, do you live in Seattle, right? Yeah, I live, I live, I live in Seattle. Okay, so uh, for the warehouse itself, like, are you good on that commute? Yeah, it's in Kirkland. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Okay, okay, yeah, just checking, just making sure that that's all right with you. Um, you know, yeah. don't want to make it, you know, too much of a stretch or anything. So as long as that commute is good, then, you know, sounds good to me. Um, so I will shoot you over an email here in the next 15, 20 minutes. And other than that, you can ping me, you know, on my cell or email me back with any questions. And other than that, we'll go from there. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. All right. Awesome. Thanks for talking, LJ. Appreciate it. Yeah, no worries, man. I'll see you more. All right. Yep. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. Um, yep. All right. So that was a super, super standard, really simple, straightforward interview. Uh, everything went picture perfect on that interview. Um, it flowed very well. I read right off the bat. Um, he's been in the United States Air Force. Uh, there was definitely some background checking and drug testing going on. So I know for a fact already um, that he's probably pretty solid, especially the position he was doing on his resume. On top of that, he answered the questions fluidly, straightforward, um, just like rapid fire, didn't have any breaks or any kind of like, um, or, you know, none of that. 
So I could read him really well. Uh, he had pretty much everything that I needed. Um, I asked him about his experience. He didn't flinch at all. He even told me that he had experience on a certain forklift and not on a different forklift, which is really important because he was vulnerable and honest about things when I didn't even ask about it, which means that someone has good character about themselves and they're open to telling you, well, I only did this and not that. And then he mentioned the driving and he mentioned he didn't do a ton of it, but he did do some of it, which is all we need. Um, and so looking over his resume along with the way he interviewed, he's a perfect candidate for me to produce and send in uh, tomorrow for an interview. And so I think the client will be really happy interviewing him. I, I see no issue why they wouldn't offer him the role. Um, at the end, if you'll notice, I did ask him about his exact location compared to the location of the job, just to make sure that there's no issues with, you know, like commute and whatnot, because that stuff could become a problem. So at any rate, that was a really picture perfect interview. Um, so those are basic, simple questions I would ask. Obviously the roles pretty simple, so the questions are gonna be pretty simple. But as you notice, that interview probably lasted, I don't know, I think it was maybe seven minutes, and that's really all an interview would need to last. And at this point, I just send him some info, and then I send the info over to the branch manager to let him know that he's coming in at nine tomorrow. And that's the entire process of the interview. So that's what one looks like. Uh, let's see if our second guy's gonna answer, and I will do that right here next. So I'll catch you then. All right guys, so as you saw today, that was one good interview conversation that I had. These are the types of conversations that I have all the time. Um, the second guy I was gonna contact did not answer, never got back to me. That happens all the time too, so that's another little learning lesson for you guys. Um, you know, you might not get everybody every single time. Um, it usually means they're a bad applicant, they never got back to me at all, so I'm probably not gonna pursue them whatsoever because my golden rule is if they don't communicate back with me, they're usually a total wash and a total loss because they're not gonna be able to show up on day one for work. Um, so we got one interview in and that was a pretty good example of going through a typical interview, standard questions, getting good genuine answers, reading someone and kind of figuring things out. So um, I hope that was helpful today. I definitely hope to do more of these uh, live calls and uh, live cold calls to clients and things like that. Um, so I'm definitely gonna be doing more of that stuff and I hope you enjoyed this. So if you did smash the like button, if you're not a subscriber, become a, subs a subscriber below and I will definitely catch you guys uh, tomorrow on Friday. All right, take care. Peace.